Hi everyone. A very quick update on what I just got out of the library. Um, I got to the library right as the doors were being opened because I went to the climbing gym first, which I don't normally do. Um, and uh, my husband had to go another way, so we drove separately and it all worked out. All right, a ton of books came in. I also picked some things off the shelf, which I should not do, but I did. However, I have gone through these books and realized that a few books have come in that I didn't realize were all gonna come in at once. And so I've already prioritized what I am going to dig into, um, the ones that I really wanna check out. So, I've already made a decision about one of the books that I picked off the shelf that I'm going to prioritize. Um, and this is The Reluctant Fundamentalist by um, Mohsen Hamet. Mohsen Hamet, and I am very sorry I'm pronouncing that wrong, um, ha Hamid. Why am I saying Hamet? Um, because I can't see his name on the front. He just wrote The Last White Man. I am pretty sure that's the end of the title. Um, I just saw it in the library. I keep seeing it. I want to read it, but I want to, I really want to read the, at least the two books that he's written before that. He's a Pakistani uh, born author and um, he this this was written in 2007 and it sounds really good this is a story of a pakistani man living in um is he living in new york um he's going to princeton he's um in a relationship with erica they don't say what um, background erica has and then 9 11 happens so why is it called The Reluctant Fundamentalist? This is very interesting to me. It's gonna be um, personal because of the relationship, political, um, perhaps religious. It sounds really good and uh, it's not that long. So this will be a good first start into uh, Mohsen Hamid. And sorry about the pronunciation. Um, okay. That's what I picked out. Then Greek Lessons came in by Han Kong, author of The Vegetarian, which I tried reading and it just didn't stick with me. Um, this is a Korean novel and it's about a young woman who, um, I think starts a friendship with her Greek language teacher. She's not able to speak I don't know if that's something that's happening to her and he's going blind and these challenges bring them together but then there's other things that bring them together the book says i haven't i stopped reading the blur because i don't want to know too much so i'm so i'm definitely going to be digging into that one it looks really good um what other one am i going to try oh this one Little Blue Encyclopedia for Vivian by Hazel Jane Plant. When was this? This is from 2020. And it says the playful and poignant novel, um, Little, Blue Encyclo Little Blue Encyclopedia, sifts through a queer trans woman's unrequited love for her straight trans friend who has died. And I think from what I read um, in the beginning that um, the this um, friend goes through Vivian's house um, because she's invited to with um, her dead friend's sister, whose name I think is Dot. And Vivian was a real fan of this show, this TV show, maybe called The Little Blue Encyclopedia. I guess that makes sense. And so this book is set up with chapters and these illustrations but I think it is um, talking about, of course, her 
dead friend's life and maybe their friendship or relationship. I don't, I don't know. It's a mystery. So I'm going to be um, unwinding that. And what else? What else? What else? There's a couple here that I don't think I'm going to get to. I'll, I'll talk about them in a second. This I would love to get to. Juno Loves Legs. This is a story set in 1980s Dublin. And Juno and Legs are two good friends. Here comes somebody right next to me watching me film. Um, Juno Loves Legs is the story of two teens labeled as delinquents. Juno and Sean, nicknamed Legs, grow up uh, on the same housing estate where spirited, intellect, intelligent Juno is ostracized for her poverty and Legs is persecuted for his sexuality. Dublin, Ireland, 1980s. Sounds good. I am going to prioritize the other books for now. And the other one that I'm, I'm going to prioritize before Juno Loves Legs is The Dog of the North. I am really looking forward to trying this one by Elizabeth Mackenzie. Isn't this a, a long list for the Women's Prize? Darkly absurd and slyly insightful, Elizabeth Mackenzie's The Dog of the North charms and delights even as it wrestles with childhood trauma, bodily indignity, and sudden death. Um, I think this is a road trip. The Dog of the North is a borrowed van replete with yellow gingham curtains and it's Penny's getaway car from a failed marriage, a family in crisis, and an uncertain future. Don't know. Oh, Australia. God, I really, really would like to get started on this. So those are the ones that I know I'm going to dip into. I returned Time Shelter. It just wasn't going to work for me at the time. I still have Y slash N that I need to try. I don't know about Aesthetica. I didn't return it, but I just don't know. Um, the two that have come in that I don't think I'm going to get to, and I'll probably just end up returning, Curtis Sittenfeld. I mean, if I had this book a couple months from now, I think I would try it. And for, I mean, because I listened to Noelle, Noelle's booktube channel, what's it called? Noelle? Noelle Gallagher. Um, I am convinced I really want to try this romance novel, because it's just so well written, she just goes on and on about this book. And, um, but I, I think I'm going to prior prioritize the other ones. And I mean, should I even tell you that I reserved and of course got another Jean Rice, Reese, Jean Reese, Voyage in the Dark. It's supposed to be one of her really good ones, but nope. Nope, my friends, I cannot get to all of these books. I can't get to all of them. Plus these. So I will um, let you go. I am headed home now. And um, thanks for watching yet another giant library haul. I'm getting better about reserving books. I'm getting much better. I have... Oh my god that car was so close to me they're doing a three-point turn in the middle of the street um but yeah i'm getting much better at reserving so i don't have a stack of books coming in i'm i'm realizing that i gotta just maybe i should make a tbr like the rest of all of you do that's pretty smart and then i could just reserve as i'm ready see i'm learning who knows all right have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.